Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It's your boy, The Nature Boy. Welcome back to the channel. And today we got our first theory video of the channel. So this is a theory that I have had for many years. I have never come across someone else who has shared this theory, at least online or on Reddit or anything like that. So as far as I know, it's unique to me. Obviously there might be some other people out there who have had this theory, but I have never come across it. And today we're gonna to be talking about Blackbeard and Shanks. And the theory is going to be based on how I believe Blackbeard might have scarred Shanks. So before we get into the theory, let's talk about some of the things that we know about this situation. So a few things that we do already know is one, we know that Shanks did not have his guard down when, he's, when Blackbeard scarred him because he told this to Whitebeard when he went to visit the Whitebeard pirates on his ship. So whatever went down, Shanks was not off guard. He was, he was aware and he was... He was focused. By the way, if I sound, if my voice sounds a little different, it's because I'm sick. So I'm, just, I'm trying to get over that right now, trying to recover from that. So my voice might sound a little bit off. And the second thing that we know is Blackbeard used to be under Whitebeard and the Whitebeard Pirates, and Shanks used to be under Roger and the Roger Pirates. Now, the reason this is important is because this can give us the idea that these two can be familiar with each other. Maybe they, we know that Roger and Whitebeard were rivals. They have fought countless times before. And it's, it's potentially possible that Shanks and Blackbeard have fought many times before as well. We do know that we saw the last time that Roger and Whitebeard fought as a pirate group versus a pirate group. And in that time, Shanks saw Blackbeard and we don't know if it was their first time encountering but we do know that that's when he found out because Buggy told him that Blackbeard never sleeps which is another fact that we know about Blackbeard. Number three, Blackbeard never sleeps. This is very important as well. Now another one that we know is that Blackbeard's body is fundamentally different. This goes in hand with him never sleeping. Uh, we've seen many hints of this throughout the story from Blackbeard, him being able to eat two devil fruits, his, he's, he's always been a little bit off. Buggy says he can he, he never sleeps. Marco directly says his body's fundamentally different in Maureen Ford when he eats the two devil fruits. So if it was any other person, they would not have been able to eat two devil fruits. Otherwise, they would have died. This is a fundamental rule in, in One Piece with devil fruits. Blackbeard seems to be the only person on Earth who is capable of breaking this rule. So something is going on there where he is very, very different fundamentally, his body and the way it works. And it's one of the biggest mysteries in One Piece, and I hope we find out soon. But I think this also has a huge role to play with how he scarred Shanks, and I'll explain that later. And another thing that we know about the situation is that Shanks seems to know something about Blackbeard that no one else knows in One Piece. Every time Shanks is around, he always seems to be either somehow tied to Luffy or to Blackbeard. Like the latest time we saw him, he was tied to Luffy. He, he arrived to Wano to see Luffy and then he left. It was kind of confusing, but it was tied around Luffy. When he went to Mary Draw, it was either about Luffy or about, or about Blackbeard. No one knows. It was potentially one of the two. But he's always either happy about what Luffy's doing in the world or warning or going out of his way to warn others about Blackbeard. And we know, especially pre time skip, Blackbeard was strong, but he wasn't amongst the strongest characters. He wasn't like a Whitebeard strong, like a uh, Kaido strong, a Big Mom strong, a Shanks strong. But Shanks was warning everyone about him. And he, he, he seemed to be warning them in a the sense of potential threat from Blackbeard. And it seemed to be coming from a place, maybe this is just me looking too into it but it seems to be coming of a place of him knowing something that others may not know. Now, I will mention, Whitebeard seemed to have an off feeling about Blackbeard as well. As we saw in the flashback when Ace left, he was telling Ace, normally I would say go, but I have a bad feeling about this one. But something tells me Whitebeard just had a gut feeling from his wisdom and his experience over the years, whereas Shanks actually experienced what this strange thing is about Blackbeard. That's how he got scarred, and that's why he's warning others to stay away from Blackbeard. Because although he is, he may not seem to be as strong as them, there's something about him that's really, really different. And the last thing I want to point out before I get into this theory is that we know that Shanks did not have his scar when he was a captain and when he found baby Uta. Now, in chapter 1057, a very recent chapter, the cover page of that chapter is Shanks and his commanders, so Lucky, Rue, Yasop, and Ben Beckman, 
trying to stop uh, baby Uta from crying and so they're dancing and they're singing and they're doing all this stuff and this is in the manga of course even if it's a cover page and looking at this is the first time we get to see an adult Shanks without the scar so we know now that it wasn't when he was under the Roger Pirates fighting the Whitebeard Pirates it was his own individual pirate crew or him as an individual fighting Blackbeard and getting scarred now Blackbeard at this time would have still been under the Whitebeard Pirates so Maybe the red-haired pirates fought the white-beard pirates. Maybe it was just a Shanks versus Blackbeard one-on-one -on -one thing. Who knows? But we know that Shanks as the captain and with baby Uta did not have a scar, so it would have came after that. Now, let's get into the theories, ladies and gentlemen. So, many of you are familiar with internet theories, I'm assuming, and theories, popular theories that have been out there that have been spread all across Reddit, YouTube, and everywhere else throughout the years. So, one popular theory that has been spread across for years is that Blackbeard is three personalities. Now, this can come from a lot of different, this in itself branches into different theories. There's some who says he has three hearts, some who says it's three brothers living in one body, some say it's just split personality disorder, where he has three personalities. Whatever it is, I personally am, uh, I buy into the theory that it's three brothers into one body, but whatever it is, they all seem to come to the same conclusion that there's three of him inside. Now. His Jolly Roger, everyone knows that Jolly Rogers are extremely crucial to a characteristic of a person. Whatever their Jolly Roger is, says a lot about them. And his Jolly Roger is three skulls. His ship was three logs. There's a lot of threes, threes, threes going into Blackbeard. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, because this theory has been around for so long and has spread across so to pretty much everywhere, personally, I don't know who started this theory. So I can't cite them as a, as a source, or I can't credit them. If you guys know who originally came up with this theory, let me know, and I'll credit them in the, in the description. Maybe I'll put, I'll put their channel on my, on my link. I'll put the link to their channel in my description. But it's so big, I have no idea who started this theory. But I wanted to bring up this theory because my theory stems off of this theory. So Blackbeard had three, had three personalities, three brothers, whatever you want to call it. This is why he does not sleep, because he alternates. This is why he can eat two or three double fruits because he has multiple personalities. Now, if this is true, my theory is that Shanks and Blackbeard were fighting, perhaps the Shanks, uh, the Red Pirates are against White Red Pirates, or perhaps something individual to them. I, I would like to believe it was an individual clash with them because Shanks would fight Whitebeard if they were fighting as a crew, and whatever Shanks knows, no one else seems to know. So I think they were isolated when this incident happened. And I think Shanks was fighting with his guard up I believe that Shanks killed Blackbeard. He, really, he literally killed Blackbeard. Blackbeard was dead in front of him. And if you're standing in front of someone who is dead, your guard is not... It's, if they surprise you and they catch you off guard, it's not that your guard is off. It's that you would never expect them to come back from the dead. So my theory is that Shanks killed one. He killed one of the three. And when he killed them, it's not necessarily having your guard down to then be a little bit unaware of someone who is dead in front of you. And maybe when he went to go turn back and to go back to his ship or whatever, maybe he was looting from the body, whatever was going on, the second one of the other two remaining brothers that are still alive today came into the body, tried to, try, tried, tried to kill Shanks with a final blow. Shanks somehow avoided it or something where he got scarred, three scars right across the eye. And that could have killed him potentially, but he just, he just managed to escape it. And... Shanks was extremely, extremely surprised. He was extremely shocked. He had no idea what was going on. And perhaps, maybe even potentially, he's the one who fled from this scenario. Or maybe Blackbeard scarred him and he fled. And Shanks was just standing there, bleeding from his eye, completely confused and caught off guard from what happened. And now, if this theory is true, that would mean that there are only two remaining personalities or brothers in Blackbeard. Which means he would not be able to get a third fruit. However, I believe that his Jolly Roger, his ship, all of this would be a homage to the fallen brother of the three that died fighting Shanks. And Shanks, seeing a man in front of him, literally die in front of him, and he, is con he knows for a fact that he died confirmed 100%, and he came back to life. This scarred Shanks more than the actual scar on his eye, to where Shanks now knows no one should be, everyone should be staying away from Blackbeard until maybe a, a, a Luffy gets into his prime or someone that, that is ready to deal with that scenario. But 
he is he always has his guard up now with Blackbeard because he knows the secret of Blackbeard. That is my theory. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comment section what you think of this theory. Do you buy it? Do you not buy it? Do you think it's a good theory? Do you think it's a bad theory? Comment all that down below. Comment your own theories on how he scarred, how he scarred Shanks. And like the video, share the video if you can. Subscribe to my channel if you can. Please help me reach 150 subscribers. Currently, I'm at 147, so I'm three, three subscribers away. And be sure to tune in, click that notification bell, because I'll have another banging video coming up for you guys later this week. And with that, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day. Take care and stay safe.